In the financial world, there are a number of trends that we are noticing, which is all about becoming more personalized, less frictionless, smarter and available 24-7. Finance has always been a big consumer of technology. Right now with digitalization uh, initiatives, especially due to the pandemic, it's really forcing a lot of the financial institutions to fast track their investment to meet the demand of their customers. And we are seeing this 124.3 billion opportunity by 2025. So it's a huge market. So I would say the areas that they are focusing on is a lot around flexibility, uh, security and privacy, uh, driving innovations and scaling all the solutions so they can serve the customers in a hybrid environment. that anybody who deals with a bank or financial institution understands is that when you're getting into the deeper processes, such as buying an investment, you're still dealing with paper, you're still dealing with people. People no longer want to do that. They don't have to do that in dealing with retail organizations, and they don't want to do it around doing financial transactions. Banks that are doing that now are finding an uptick. We're seeing lots of organizations weaponize technology to move in that direction to gain the uh, upper hand on their competition. Imagine a customer who has walked into a bank branch being serviced by a robot rather than by a customer services person. So for this robot to be able to service this customer, you would need input data from the digital identity that the video camera feeds that might be there in the bank and the historical data of this person that the robot might be able to access and quickly provide a response. Now this rapidity of response and this real world conversation style robots can only be achieved if we have the backing of cloud services that are being delivered at the edge of the network. There's a fundamental shift in how we do customer onboarding and also servicing. Now, now a lot of it is driven by cloud in terms of um, technology such as um, EKIC. Um, how do you then do the anti-money laundering? Assuming you've sort of got the front sorted, some of our clients are transforming their business applications through the cloud native way. And that's important because there's no point of opening up the funnel, but your application actually cannot handle the load. But then what do you do with the data? Then, then you need platforms that are powered by the cloud to be able to process it in a way that it can provide insights that is relevant at the point of time that you need to service your customers. So what the cloud does is that it avails various tools, resources, applications, or tech services to bring about automated analytics, to bring about uh, uh, sales point automation or high tech intelligent customer service that's humanless. And that's a game changer for business. The world of payment has been more at the forefront of technology adoption than other categories, financial services technology. There's a lot of investment going to this space, but interesting to see that actually more and more from the plumbing, the infrastructure of payments, to the consumer of the payment services, many of them are going cloud or cloud native. There are a few things in the payments I would like to kind of address. The first one is the blockchain itself that will become the emerging way for the companies to instantly verify transaction without relying on a central authority. So we are seeing like a lot of uh, banks and retailers and other companies are start to adopt the blockchain infrastructure to really digitally track the ownership of the assets and how they can speed up the transaction, cut the cost and also uh, lower the risk of fraud. Very popular in the world of trade financing. It's uh, very popular in the world of even digital identity. Without cloud, you wouldn't have a, a meaningful blockchain or at such a scale. And then without blockchain that are powered by the cloud, then a lot of these applications may not be even feasible or sustainable. As we become even less physical reliance on physical, the importance of blockchain to help build trust becomes even more important. 
The second thing that we will be looking at the internet of things because that's where you will see the connected device appliances and wearables that will also get in and the payments will happen through those devices in the world. Payment less transaction will become the new norm as you go forward. like we saw retailers, you know, 15, 20 years ago, take over the larger retailers in the market by building better processes and better technology. We'll see the same thing in the banking industry. The reason cloud actually helps a lot of the SME players is that ease of innovation. They don't really know how big their business will become. Whilst growing at a rapid scale, they have to re-architect on the fly, right? So it's a bit like changing your engine midway through a flight. But it's becoming technologically possible again with the help of cloud native technologies that allows them to do that. I would say is we are in the most incredible time in the history for small businesses to build revolutionary growth by leveraging cloud and AI. They don't have to set up the tech infrastructure, they just have to buy a subscription of the cloud infrastructure or an AI infrastructure and they can really automate their business processes and take their company to the next level.